Okay, you guys, so I get this question constantly, so let's just have at it. Horns or no, no horns, and can I mix them? Well, can you mix them? The answer is yes, I've been mixing them for years. Because sometimes I buy doughs that are really well bred, but have already been dehorned. And I don't have any dehorned males, but my horn and dehorn, they all do well together. They, there's no problem. Um, you can mix your herd. Um, it definitely would optimum to leave them all with horns or without horns, but you can mix your herd. So don't, don't eliminate really high-end genetics that you could possibly have because you don't think you can mix herds. You can. So that's number one. Um, the other question is horn versus dehorn. Now, it's really important that I'm kind to people who dehorn because I do not believe it's abusive to dehorn goats. In fact, it's preventative, especially for does with udders, to keep other horns off of their udders, which they will have a problem eventually. Now that said, um, because they'll horn underneath their belly, they commonly, it's a common spot that, that, that goats will horn one another is under their belly and then they'll hook their udder and then you can poke an udder and have a big injury and it's a big problem to take care of and it's really challenging. Um, so I understand why dairy operations dehorn their goats 100%. They're probably eliminating them as a possibility of future pain by proactively doing one treatment when they're a baby. Now that said, if I had my own herd, I would never dehorn. It is kind of a crazy, brutal process to burn their horn butts off. Um, sorry, I have a goat bothering the camera lady, um, which always happens out here. Um, and, um, you know, I just don't want to do it. Their horns look so amazing. They're such a beautiful animal with horns that I would never want to take them off. And um, the whole like pro horn people that talk about them um, cooling themselves with it, honestly, I don't think there's enough scientific research or evidence to have that ever be an issue that would hinge upon. And I will tell you, goats with horns are more destructive. They do tear apart more feeders. They are more uh, harmful on one another. Um, but I just like horns because I think they look beautiful. I'm going to stand up because I'm going to get a horn in the face while we're talking here. Um, I just like them with horns. I think they're more beautiful. I think they're a functional tool. They actually hold themselves up when they fall. If you actually watch one of my short films when I'm going up this super steep cliffy thing, you'll see Noah stumble. He stumbles and goes kunk and sticks his horn in the side of the hill and holds himself up. They're like a fifth appendage. They itch themselves with it. It's functional. It's cool to see because it's beautiful. And I think it would be a shame to take their horns off. I just do. Hey, Timber, quit it. Um, so uh, in charge for horns and whole horns, if you want it to be less destructive and less dangerous, dehorn your goats. If you like more of the all, na all natural process, leave the horns on. They definitely do amazing with their horns. Um, I have not had horns create enough injuries where I'm going to take them off ever. Um, and I've been raising goats a long time now, um, but I wouldn't judge you for dehorning. I would recommend though that you have the courage to watch the process. So I would say if you're a person that's gonna dehorn, then be a part of the process to do it so you can know what you're asking to be done both with your goats and what you're asking somebody else to do on your behalf. I think you should have the courage to be a part of the dehorning process if you're making that choice for them. So that's the only thing I would say. Um, and I've seen it once and I would never want to do it again. It's just a super brutal little deal. So there it is. Um, horning and dehorning, these people that are talking one's better, one's right, one's wrong. I, I honestly think it's neutral. I think it's neutral and I'd understand the decision why people would make it on both ends. I think people just get really polarized and agendaized and want to be right and everybody else is wrong. So I hope you find that helpful. Uh, my name is Mark Warnke. I'm known as the goat guy. Um, if you need help with your goats, I have everything you need on packgoats.com to help you to raise goats, courses, information, products. Um, I also, um, here on Ripple Ranch, we are innovative in the implementation of goats on homesteading. So we talk about all of it, not just goats. Um, but if you need courses, information, and we even have a goat club membership where you get a look over at my shoulder and learn so much about raising goats that literally, eventually, you will never need to call a vet over again. You will be able to do all things with your goats. Um, the only reason you'll need a vet is in a good relationship with one is to be able to help you get access to things like antibiotics, 
products and things that you just can't get on your own that are controlled substances that you have to have a vet help you with. So I hope you find that helpful. Please click the subscribe, um, comment, and please, if you'd be so kind, share this. And if you can do business with us, that helps so much. It helps us to keep the lights on. We hope you find that helpful. Mark Warnke, The Goat Guy, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.